Sometimes life imitates art, sometimes art imitates, well, me. Look at the characters that I think are most like me. Okay, I gotta be honest, it's, it's Falco Lombardi from Star Fox. This guy, he's, he's Star Fox's right hand man, but this guy is a dick. Seriously, he's a giant douchebag who's way too cocky. And you know what? I'm mad enough to admit that I'm a very cocky individual who's kind of a douchebag sometimes. <laughs> And, like, even look at me in, like, video games. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can play this game. I'm super cocky about it. And then what winds up happening? I get a bunch of enemies on my tail, and then all of a sudden, Star Fox, i.e. Ladies of Corner and Soinky, have to come in and save my ass. And I'm like, well, I guess I should say thank you. I guess I should be thankful. I don't normally say thank you, because I'm a douchebag like Falco Lombardi. Uh, he's a really cool character, though. He's just, he's rough around the feathers. <laughs> get it? Because he's a bird. I'm such a douche. <laughs> Plus, he has great hair. His hair is like fantastic. It's always nice and neat and straight up. I like it. Falco has a Joven Hawk. A Falco Hawk. Video game characters I'm most like. You know, uh, I haven't played through all of Assassin's Creed 4 yet, but I gotta say, so far, I feel a lot like uh, Mr. Kenway there. He's kind of, you know, the other assassins had these like, they're like fighting for vengeance or fighting for truth or to stop the Templars. And Kenway's just like, I'm gonna get drunk and uh, try and get all of the loot and the booty. And that's kind of how I feel I would be in the Assassin's Creed universe. I'd be like, so if I have one of these robes, I can stab people and pickpocket them and like jump down on them and take their money and then get drunk and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's, someone round up a pirate crew. Let's, we're doing this. And then just kind of sail out and, and, and mess people up, it's awesome. It's, uh, I, cause I don't feel like I would have any of those lofty aspirations that those other characters had. I just kind of want to loot and pillage, and if this Assassin's Row helps me do that, then so be it. I'm gonna go with Arthas. Now, not, uh, not everyone is gonna know who Arthas is. Arthas is a character from the Warcraft universe, and he is a paladin. He's, uh, he's very heroic, but he's also headstrong. He thinks he's stronger than he is, in fact. He's very powerful, no, and I'm very good at video games, but I think a lot of times, I think that I'm way better than I am, and he sort of thinks that way too, which is why when he uh, he destroys, I forget who he kills, uh, everyone in the Warcraft universe is, is going to hate me, but he kills someone, and they have this sword called Frostmourne, right? And he picks up Frostmourne because he thinks that he's strong enough to wield that power, and it turns him into the Lich King, and then he becomes like the, the leader of the undead. Uh, not that I'm the leader of the undead, I think the thing, the thing that makes me uh, evil as him is my Frostmourne is losing at video games. When I lose at a video game, I just get so, I turn it, guys, I'm a nice guy. I'm a really, I'm a good person, I think. Uh, I, you know, I, I strive to be a good person every day of my life. That being said, when I lose at a game, I don't like it. I don't like it very much at all. And it makes me kind of a bad person. I turn into a dick, a huge dick. But in the spirit, of being honest about characters that are most like us. Come on, we're all thinking it. Leon Kennedy from the Resident Evil franchise. His hair is amazing. He's staying with that theme. He's a handsome fellow. And uh, again, just, we can't argue this. Plus, he's kind of, <laughs> yeah. Don't throw up. Just, just accept it. I'm a beautiful man. I'm a beautiful, beautiful man. But Leon Kennedy kind of has this bad luck streak to him that wherever he goes, he, he, well, bad things follow. For example, hey, it's my first day on the police department. Zombie apocalypse. Hey, look at me. I somehow survived the zombie apocalypse and now I'm protecting the president. President's daughter gets kidnapped. Seriously, why do people keep hiring him? Me, wherever I go, bad things have a tendency to follow. Like, it's just part of my Irish luck, I guess. Not very smart, guys. But. Hey, he looks good, he knows how to take charge in a good, strong moment. He can save you in a zombie apocalypse. And that's, that's the, the, the real comparison here is that the women that he loves, they always are just, they're always running away from him. He's like, Ada, and she's like, whoop, ninja vanish, whoop. I relate to that. Just one of these days. One of these days I'll find Ada Wong in a red dress, just waiting for me with a rocket launcher and I'll give her my rocket launcher. And I think uh, next character I'm most like, let's say character I most aspire to be like, and that's gonna be Snorlax. The dude just sleeps through battles. Like, I really appreciate Snorlax's complete uh, ability to disrespect all authority. Like, Snorlax, get in there and fight. Nope, napping. 
Hmm. And then Snorlax is just out. That's one of his attacks you can select, is rest. And he just re relaxes and regains his HP. It's like, uh, Snorlax attack. Okay, yeah, let me get right on that. I'm gonna take him out. And then he just goes to sleep. But he's still a big enough badass that other Pokemon lose to him. Like, he beats the shit out of Pokemon in their sleep. It's like, Snorlax is asleep. Oh, he used sleep talk. And he backhanded someone across the room. Backhand isn't a real attack. Maybe it is, I don't know. But he doesn't have it. But anyway, he, you know, he, he just slaps people around in his sleep. And that's what I aspire to do, really. Just kind of sleep, coast through life, but also accomplish lots of stuff like knocking people out. Yeah, Snorlax. He's the man. Video game characters I most like. That is a tough one. Uh, it's hard to emulate this really when you think about it. But I gotta go with, I think it's gonna be Toe Jam, from Toe Jam and Earl. Obviously, not that I'm a red, weird stick alien, but he, he's got kind of a swagger to him. He has this like cool walk when he's walking around, and I think, I mean, I mean that was an awkward walk I just did, but but he's, uh, he's kind of, he's just chill, he's a badass. And the most important thing to him in the world is funk. He just, he, he represents the funk. He's got that sweet thing around, the thing around his neck, and he, he just loves the funk music. That's all I really want, is they just want to fly through the galaxy and listen to funk music and just kind of jam out. It's like, boom, 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 da, doo, na, 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 da, doo, da, doo, da, da, And it's, I mean, really that's one of the best gaming soundtracks of all time. Uh, I don't know if I ever said that in the gaming soundtracks episode, but I should have. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess what I'm saying is I really like funk music. So, I'm like a red alien thing. And plus, if you ever get to that secret level, you gotta swim down the island and you drop through the thing and you land in that cool little island and you gain health from drinking lemonade and hanging out with hot chicks in a hot tub. And really, I mean, that's probably why I'm single because, I mean, that's my fantasy and it's in a video game and I'm kind of a sad individual. Today while we're single, we're going to be talking about some games that we think should be open world or could be open world or would be awesome as open world games. 